Wegman's Old World. The Amherst are back in the middle of a heavy schedule. Highlights from the War Memorial on the Late Report. Tonight. Welcome to Alcatraz. Scared of dying? You better be. No one has ever escaped from Alcatraz, and no one ever will. Tuesday night, we got... What are our chances? A slap. Some men are destined never to leave Alcatraz alive. Clint Eastwood. I guess anything you want bad enough is worth the chance. Escape from Alcatraz, next. Anything more pleasing than the sounds of a mother's love? Look at the but consider what some babies hear. This baby, you see, is hearing impaired. It doesn't hear all the wonderful sounds of love and language. However, with early childhood intervention, hearing impaired children and their parents can overcome many of the barriers caused by deafness. For information, writer call Early Childhood Center, Rochester School for the Deaf. Escape from Alcatraz. Tonight's ABC Sunday Night Movie. We'll continue in a moment. Place in your hearts and your homes for us. We're the children nobody seems to want. The abused. The minorities. The handicapped and mentally retarded. The teenagers. Will anyone out there dare to love me? Why ski lift tickets could be costing more this year. That story tonight. Now we continue with Escape from Alcatraz. Life. Tuesday, Tony's oldest enemy's in town. The man can't be as bad as you remember. Oh, one time you put a fist right through a plate glass window. Oh, that must have hurt. Yeah, it was my fist. Now it's time for true confessions. You're a priest. Who's the boss? Then... Okay, yeah, what is it? Jack of Diamonds. Thank you very much. The Amazing Mike's at it again. I'm only 10. What's your excuse? Growing pains. Tuesday. Cord from the engineers at Honda. Honda. Tuesday. My God. You've heard the rumors. I've got a problem. Don't look at me. I wasn't even in town that month. Now, get the facts. I'm all ears. Well, not all ears. On Moonlighting, then. The outrageous Lionel Richie. I'm just out here living a dream. The provocative Betty White. Yes, I've had a few sleepover dates. The revealing Richard Pryor. No, I don't have no blank blank AIDS. The all-new Barbara Walters special. Tuesday. Escape from Alcatraz, starring Clint Eastwood, will continue in a moment. This is a New Center 13 update. Good evening. Some stories coming up tonight on New Center 13. The Senate Majority Leader is calling for a special panel to conduct what he calls a Watergate type of investigation into the Reagan administration. We'll have a full report tonight following the movie. Also tonight, that volcano in Hawaii is continuing its destruction, but it's also arousing the curiosity of tourists. And his face and voice have become familiar to us over the last 30 years. Actor Cary Grant died last night. We'll take a look back at his career. Now this. Celebrate the holidays in style with Holly Day's Stemware from Arby's. They're yours for a special price when you buy a medium or large soft drink. Happy holidays from Arby's. Join us for those stories, the weather and sports tonight following the movie. 13 News Update was brought to you by Arby's. Until there's a cure, there's contact. You know the heart of any nonprofit organization is its office, and here's where you can make a difference. Volunteers are the key to getting things done. Typing, calling, computing. 
These are the number one needs of the nonprofit organizations in this area. Once a week, once a month, even once a year, you can be part of a group's success. Call the Volunteer Connection at the United Way and find a place where you're the key. Call 454-1100 today. Wednesday. I want you to have an abortion. We've gone from me deciding your life to you deciding mine. Feel better? You two deserve each other. A worthless son? Carrington Trap. On Dynasty. Then the lie. My own little personal secret. The terrible guilt. You're hurting. I want to know why. Look, you wouldn't understand. The tragedy of bulimia. The effects could be devastating. Peter, I'm so scared. Hotel after Dynasty. Wednesday. Tonight's movie, Escape from Alcatraz, will continue in a moment. There's nothing quite like that feeling. Writing, it's freedom, it's competition, it's power. The three laws of nature, my nature, and for me those laws are a tradition. And so no matter what Fallon says, that baby she's carrying, it's mine. Miles, just one of the family. Thursdays on The Colbys. This is a News Center 13 update. Good evening. Coming up tonight, we'll tell you how Kodak is branching out and why a Buffalo congressman is expected to make a move toward a presidential bid. Also, why ski lift tickets may be a bit more expensive in the months to come and how an old-fashioned Christmas tradition is making a comeback. Now this. Are you tired of bait-and-switch advertising? Come see us at Hoffman's Appliance. We'll guarantee the lowest price on all GE appliances. Plus, our service is always honest and dependable. We're Hoffman Appliance. Join us tonight. 13 News Update was brought to you by Hoffman's. The Odd Couple weeknights at 11.30 on 13. Now we continue. Escape from Alcatraz. Car. Use it at more and more places like Montgomery Ward, Toys R Us, and Zales Jewelers. Still out there. I'm going to quit my job and stake you. Brooke Shields. Rich and fancy. In love. Boat's getting too small. In trouble. Caught in the middle. Don't let her make you crazy, son. Taking a chance. Greed and lust will eat you alive. And risking it all. I'm going after her. Brooke Shields in her first television movie. Burgess Meredith. Let go. Two weeks from tonight. This time of year, it's lake effect that causes quick changes in our weather. I'm Bill Peterson, and WOKR 13 can be the first to alert you to lake effect storm. With our weather radar based here in Rochester. Rochester radar can spot the low clouds of lake effect storms as they form on Lake Ontario. Lake effect weather in Rochester simply can't be seen by Buffalo-based radar. The best way to see weather that affects Rochester is with radar based in Rochester. Don't be Buffalo. Rochester radar is only on News Center 13. Taxi, weeknights at 7.30 on 13. The winning combination for 11 straight years. Remember, you can buy now with no payments until next April. There are over 5,000 volunteer jobs available, but just one number to call, 454-1100. Call today. This is Steve Bell, a hotline to help latchkey children. Tomorrow on ABC's World News This Morning, before Good Morning America. He was a Hollywood giant. Tomorrow on Good Morning America, friends and colleagues remember Cary Grant. And Eva Marie Saint talks about the North by Northwest and her memories of Cary Grant. Tomorrow on Good Morning America. Wednesday, Larry and Balky fathers. It's a long night for the boys when a baby becomes an overnight guest on Perfect Strangers. Then, nerdy Arvids and sexy Sarah's romantic date fails to spark any flames between them. So Charlie tries to fan the fire on head of a class. 
Watch the Weekend Report tonight on most of these ABC stations. You're watching The Gauntlet, starring Clint Eastwood on 31 UHF. It happened. Uh -uh. Sunday, a termite invasion on Married with Children. Can the Bundy survive a night in the shoe store? Yeah, till he stepped on me. Get used to it, son. They do that your whole life. No! Oh. Then, the stock market is... Take bullish on Tracy. And where will you be when Linda's bundle of joy arrives? I will be making movie deals in the corner. <laughs> Don't you dare miss a minute of duet. It all happens Sunday. On Fox. <laughs> 31 UHF requested the original theatrical version of tonight's movie. However, the distributors have advised us that only the edited version is available for telecast. The Kitchen UHF. He's back. And you can't stop him. You can't kill him. Jimmy! And you can't escape him. Run for help. Beg for mercy. Jason wants revenge. Run for help. Beg for mercy. Jason wants revenge. Friday the 13th, part 2. Thursday at 8, only on 31 UHF. Play small. Sunday on Jump Street. A terrifying journey through a clinic of death. And Hanson may never escape. Sunday at 7, on 31 UHF. It can be again. Sunday on Werewolf. Scorzini. I've got to find him. And kill him. Before whatever's inside me takes over again. The long-awaited final battle between Eric and Scorzini. And only one werewolf will survive. Sunday at 8 on 31 UHF. Although edited for television, tonight's film contains portrayals of realistic violence, which may be unsuitable for young viewers. Friendly discretion is advised. <laughs> Monday. <laughs> MacGyver soars where eagles dare. Then, Joe Montana is back. The Redskins want revenge. San Francisco battles Washington Monday night football. Tomorrow. Sudden Impact. Tonight's ABC's Sunday Night Movie will continue in a moment. Tuesday, Angela must face the truth. My son is not a wimp. The mother's always the last to know. Why is it? Because a boy is well-behaved, intellectual, and a little uncoordinated. People call him a wimp. Because that's what wimp means. Who's the boss? Then... Somebody hired you! Mike lands a job, but is it too tough to handle? Just make sure you're great. Hey, no Don't... problem, Dale. I promise I will maintain a solid D average. Growing pain. Tuesday. Lobster now for... Crab legs and... Tuesday. Are you in trouble? Trouble's my middle name. I laugh at trouble. I tickle trouble under the chin. It's a look at David's mysterious past. There's a picture! Where? A bedtime story for grown-ups on Moonlighting. Then... You're going down, pal. It's a battle of the sexes. What have you done to my kitchen? And they're taking no prisoners. We need around here is a wife. Jack and Mike, right after Moonlighting. Tuesday. Hi, I'm Joan London. This week on Good Morning America, we'll beam aboard the Starship Enterprise with the cast of Star Trek IV. William Shatner, Admiral Kirk, Leonard Nimoy, Mr. Spock, and Scotty McCoy, and the entire Enterprise crew. Star Trek, this week on Good Morning America. Sudden Impact, starring Clint Eastwood, will continue in a moment. 
This is a News Center 13 update. Good evening. Some stories coming up tonight on News Center 13. George Shultz said today he can no longer speak for the administration when it comes to future arms shipments to Iran. We'll tell you how that will affect his position as Secretary of State tonight on our Late News. Also tonight, we'll tell you why Syrian President Assad made a rare public appearance at a Damascus sports stadium today and how disaster was averted at the Norfolk International Airport when a TWA jetliner landed safely despite collapsed landing gear. Now this. You could win millions playing New York's instant games. I got a better chance of being struck by lightning. One ticket, please. Join us for those stories, the weather and sports tonight on News Center 13, following the movie. 13 News Update was brought to you by New York State Lottery Instant Games. That line of Queen City turned a frown upside down. Is there any end to the dismal weather? We'll have the answer later tonight. And now we continue with sudden impact. It's beer at its best. Who? There's money you're right. <laughs> <laughs> MacGyver soars where eagles dare. Monday. Wednesday. It's a strange feeling. I'm kind of uncomfortable. <laughs> you should try these benches. When Shakespeare goes punk. Alas, poor York. Everybody gets into the act. The greatest play ever written. The Rocky Horror Show. Head of the class. Sure and simple. Seeing things tonight at 11.30 on 13. To make a During the past 18 months, we've talked to thousands of viewers in over 50 cities for American Television and you. We've heard your comments, questions, criticisms, opinions about almost every aspect of television. We respect what you have to say. We care. We're going to keep right on talking and listening to your ideas and comments. We'll bring some of them to you right here on the air in the coming weeks. We're all involved. American television and you. Catherine Hellman and the Colby Stephanie Beecham had an all-star cast in a special two-hour Caribbean Calypso Love Boat Cruise. Enjoy yourselves. Friday. Give me a break. Weeknights at 7 on 13. More. Siblings separated by adoption. Now they're adults and they'll meet for the first time on our stage. Next, Donahue. Donahue, Monday morning at 9 on 13. Television superstar, critically acclaimed actress Farrah Fawcett now appears in the most inspiring role of her career. Nazi! The true life story of Nazi hunter Beata Klarsfeld. I want to go to Bolivia to find Barbie. After 40 years, an ordinary housewife would bring the killer of thousands to justice. <laughs> Accuse him! Geraldine Page and Tom Conti in a story of love and courage. Farrah Fawcett is Beata Klarsfeld, next Sunday. David Stoll, Robert Urich, and Clint Eastwood as Dirty Harry. This is the second movie in the Dirty Harry series, and this time he's after a group of renegade cops who seem to have gone to the Charles Bronson Police Academy. Shoot now, ask questions later. And they have taken the law into their own hands. They have systematically wiped out members of the underworld. But Clint puts a stop to that by shooting now and asking questions later. Only kidding. Okay, if we're ready for Dirty Harry, then let's begin. Here's a look at Act One of Magnum Porn. Our movie will return after these messages. Beef sandwich together at last. Next week, the Yankees return to Tuesday Night Baseball as they take on the Brewers in Milwaukee. And you'll see the action here on Channel 31 starting at 8.30. The Brewers are struggling this year and would love to play the role of the spoiler as the Yankees continue to chase the Red Sox in the AL East. The Yankees and the Milwaukee Brewers next week as Channel 31 plays Tuesday Night Baseball. Might be missing something.
Good evening. A tape recording from the Challenger indicates that at least the shuttle's pilot knew something was wrong as the fatal explosion occurred. The White House says CIA boss William Casey made a secret trip to Syria, helping to bring about the release of Reverend Lawrence Jenko. In London, Karpov and Kasparov play to a draw in game one of the World Chess Championship. For the Independent News, I'm Morton Dean. And now we return to our feature presentation in stereo on Channel 31, Rochester's Entertainer. Clint Eastwood, Hal Holbrook, Robert Urich, and David Stoll will all be back in Magnum Force right after these words. Thanks for joining me at the movies tonight. Tomorrow night, Tuesday night baseball continues with the New York Yankees and the Milwaukee Brewers. Should be a great game. We'll be back again on Wednesday at 8 o'clock. And that's a special time for The Deer Hunter, starring Robert De Niro, Christopher Walken, and Meryl Streep. I hope you'll join us then. Bye-bye. Commitment from your Rochester area four county Ford team, the driving force. Stay down here and die. Robert De Niro, Meryl Streep, Christopher Walken in The Deer Hunter this Wednesday at 8 on Channel 31, Rochester's Entertainer. The U.S. Army is at war with Private Benjamin. Goodness, there's no reason why we couldn't get up at 9.30 or 10. Negative! Have a little brunt, and then go shoot our guns or whatever. We use the trigger. Nothing can go wrong. Neither side will surrender. And it's a battle to the finish with Private Benjamin. Thursday at 8.30 on Channel 31. at 1.30 on Channel 31. Welcome to tonight's New York State Lottery Drawing, sponsored by Shapiro and Shapiro. Tonight's draw, as always, conducted and supervised by the New York State Lottery. And by the way, the lottery achieved a new plateau yesterday. Button number three, randomly and automatically, thanks to the microcomputer, the lotto machine selects the winning numbers one at a time. First winning number is number 18. 18. At 1 o'clock yesterday, Sunday, July 27th, the lottery achieved the record sale, number 38. 38. One billion dollars in sales over the last nine months. And going back to 1976, number 22. 22. In September 76, when the lottery returned, till now... Sales of six billion dollars, number eight, number eight. Thanks to you, in addition to all the millions of players who have won prizes totaling billions of dollars, number 29, 29, 2.7 billion dollars goes over to the state to support education throughout New York. Single winner wins a million two hundred thousand with number 19, number 19. Winning numbers in the lotto 40 game Monday, July 28. 18, 38, 22, 8, 29, 19. From John Quinn, director, all the lottery people and agents, we thank you for your support. Remember Take work for me, and it can work for you, too. USA Today says cops is riveting, revealing, and risky. Saturday at 9. Hi, 
Hi, and welcome to Cinema 31. Now, picture this scenario. You're in research, a demanding job to be sure, yet a rather quiet environment. You always take your lunch at 12 to return at 1, and today is no exception. However, your return from lunch to the lab has you entering the twilight zone as you find all your colleagues murdered and three guesses as to who is the next target of these merciless assassins. Well, that's only the beginning. I'm Terry Chilton, and tonight we present Three Days of the Condor, starring Robert Redford, Faye Dunaway, Cliff Robertson, and John Hausman. And now, to the edge of your seat with Three Days of the Condor. On the reporters. Kidnapped seven years ago, a computer shows what she'd look like now. Last seen at age four, could you spot Nicole today? The image of the child is being entered into the computer. The story of an amazing breakthrough in the search for lost kids. This is a revolutionary step in the finding of missing persons. Stolen as a baby, but this miracle likeness brought him home. Glad to be back home. Saturday at 8. I hope you're enjoying Three Days of the Condor, directed by Sidney Pollack, whose other films include They Shoot Horses, Don't They?, Absence of Malice, and Tootsie in 1982. One of our stars, Robert Redford, was just named by the TV show Entertainment Tonight as one of America's most eligible bachelors. In 1977, Donald Reed wrote Redford's biography and told of his passion for directing. He finally had his chance in 1980 with Ordinary People. We're 31 UHF. Next time on an all-new episode of Star Trek, The Next Generation. Destroy that probe! An alien force is programming the Enterprise for self-destruction. We're sitting on a bomb that could go off any second. Leaving the ship defenseless against an enemy attack. They're preparing to fire photon torpedoes. Sir, the shields aren't responding. Now, the crew faces a countdown to disaster on an all-new episode of Star Trek The Next Generation. Friday at 8, only on 31 UHF. Here come the Chevys. Hi, I'm Peter Webb from England, the artistic director of Sheer Ego International School of Hair Design. Join us for the next session. I attended Sheer Ego International. It was the best decision I ever made. I learned styling, makeup, manicuring, and much more. Come, Come join, join us. us. Register to win a hairdressing and cosmetology course from Sheer Ego International and TV31. Send us your name, address, and phone number, or stop by and tour Sheer Ego. Call 342-0070. <laughs> Due to the length of tonight's movie, the Honeymooners won't be seen this evening. Attention sick. What did this morning man ask Samantha Fox that made her blow her stack? The big boob jokes. No. You know what I mean? You, you, you get those all the time. Obviously. No, not really. What did these guys do to Shirley Jones that made her mad enough to sue? Uh, good morning, Shirley. Yes. Uh, Tommy and Paul from Q96 Radio. Now, Entertainment Tonight goes on the air with Radio's Bad Boys and sees how far they'll go to surprise the stars. Radio's Bad Boys, the inside story on Entertainment Tonight. Tonight at 10.30 only on 31 UHF. Here's to the winners. We're on your way. Mr. Belvedere's back on prime time. What, what do you think of the earrings? Too much? Not if you're one of the Marvelettes. <laughs> and Brian Keith's the baddest professor in town. Mm -hmm. Now he's met his match. You, David, are going to be a great professor. What makes you think so, Margaret? The Pursuit of Happiness premieres tomorrow, right after the return of Mr. Belvedere. Tightro, tonight's ABC Thursday night movie. We'll continue in a moment. They are people who have touched someone, hurt someone, changed someone. People you should know more about. Person of the Week, tomorrow on ABC's World News Tonight with Peter Jennings. Why taxes may be going up in Webster, the story tonight. We now continue with Tightrope. To feel better. I'm gonna wait till the midnight hour. This Halloween, have a devil of a good time. The Midnight Hour, Saturday. New 
Ragu Thick and Hardy. This is Father Hoyt. I think I may have killed someone last night. I'm going somewhere? All I want to know is if it's true. Spencer for hire. All I want is the truth. Sunday. Tightrope. Starring Clint Eastwood and Jean-Pierre Bougeot. We'll continue in a moment. This is a New Center 13 update. Good evening. Stock prices soared to their third largest one-day advance today, 5%. The Dow Industrials gained nearly 92 points. Many analysts wonder whether the upward momentum will continue. President Reagan today announced his latest Supreme Court nominee, Judge Douglas Ginsburg. And he called on the Senate to move ahead quickly with a confirmation procedure. Also coming up tonight, what causes the frustrating fatigue? Join us at 11. What more pediatricians recommend? What moms trust? Shouldn't you? I'm just so happy that the cold is over. You just smile. Sunday, Dolly lets down her hair, her real hair. It's a night of great guests and surprises. Sunday on Dolly. From an age of glory and romance. An epic saga of conquest and desire. Beginning Tuesday, November 10th, Napoleon and Josephine, a love story. Tonight's movie, Tightrope, will continue in a moment. On 2020 Friday, working couples finding time for each other by running their marriages like a business. Plus, Baby Jessica's Rescue, the story you didn't see during the moment of crisis. Nobody had any arms long enough to reach her. Plus, Danny Sullivan. Is his fast life off the track slowing him down behind the wheel? Watch 2020 Friday. This is a News Center 13 update. Good evening in the news. A meeting for Webster residents to talk taxes tonight because of a new tax assessment for Xerox property in the town. Property owners heard details tonight of a tax hike for them. A two-car crash in the city at the intersection of Ridge and Culver. One person trapped for a while. Both drivers treated for injuries. Now this. Now you can have a complete energy audit on your oil furnace. Call the Hub Longy Heat Line, 2350940. The call is free, and so is the audit. Also tonight, we continue our look at frustrating fatigue. Patrice Walsh with her special report at 11 from News Center 13. 13 News Update was brought to you by Hub Longy Fuel. The Frustrating Fatigue, a special report tonight at 11. ABC's Olympic Diary is brought to you by Kellogg's. In 1948, two U.S. hockey teams went to the Olympics. One sponsored by the U.S. Olympic Committee, the other by the Amateur Hockey Association. Only the latter team was allowed to play, but their efforts were canceled due to questionable amateur status. For the crisp, but crisp mix. The crisp that'll make you flip. Corn on this side, rice on the flip side. So crisp, you're gonna flip for the crisp, but crisp mix. Flip, 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 flip. for the crisp, but crisp mix. Hey, this is not your ordinary mix. Nope, I made it with crisp mix, so it's crispier. No kidding. What did the USOC team do at the games? Yes, they marched at the opening ceremony. No, they never played any hockey. There is a mysterious illness striking thousands of normal, active adults, leaving them physically exhausted and depressed. It is so puzzling that doctors can't determine its cause or find a cure. What is this strange syndrome that leaves its victims so drained that some can't even get out of bed? Are you susceptible to it? Reporter Patrice Walsh examines the frustrating fatigue in a special report tonight at 11, only on News Center 13. The more you watch, the more you understand. Tightrope. Tonight's ABC Thursday night movie. We'll continue in a moment. For Halloween. Next Thursday, at a special time.
James Bond. Roger Moore. Grace Jones, Tanya Roberts, and Christopher Walken. The network television premiere A View to a Kill next Thursday. I'm Ted Koppel. Later on Nightline, everybody knew where Robert Bork stood on the controversial issues. Douglas Ginsburg's record is a blank slate. That may be his biggest problem. This is Charles Gibson. And Joan London. Tomorrow on Good Morning America, Hollywood great Paul Newman joins us. And we'll preview Sunday's New York Marathon. Plus Dolly Parton and Judith Ivey. Tomorrow on Good Morning America. Hello, I'm Christopher Hewitt. And I'm happy to say we're going to be spending some prime time together. You see, Mr. Belvedere is back on prime time starting tomorrow night. See you then. Then Brian Keith returns to television. He's the baddest professor in town, except now he's met his match. Magic Johnson guest stars on the premiere of Pursuit of Happiness. This Halloween, have a devil of a good time. The Midnight Hour and ABC Movie Special, Saturday. This is the Hawk telling you to stay away from that dial. Stay tuned and see what's up on Spencer for Hire, Sunday. Intimate Cleansing Mist. There's a killer on campus. Ken? And no one is safe. <laughs> the police have the wrong man. I'm innocent, damn it. And he needs a good lawyer. There's nothing like results. Raymond Burr goes back to school to solve the mystery. Someone's trying to hang my client. An all-new adventure for Perry Mason, the case of a lethal lesson next Sunday. Tomorrow, a spotlight report. Each year, over 250 people die because of police chases. Is the price of hot pursuit too high? On NBC Nightly News with Tom Brokaw. Monday night, NBC presents six of America's favorite all-time comedies. The Cosby Show, Elf, The Golden Girls, Empty Nest, Cheers, and Night Court. A night of a thousand laughs, Monday. And Tuesday, on an all-new In the Heat of the Night, a condemned prisoner makes one last plea for mercy, forcing Gillespie to come to grips with a painful past. Then Jack Killian becomes entwined in a ruthless web of greed and sleaze when he tries to bring down a powerful porn king. On an all-new Midnight Caller, Tuesday. Days of Our Lives, weekdays. This week's show features legendary guitarist Carlos Santana, composer saxophonist Wayne Shorter, and the soulful Fontella Band. Some people. We're 31 UHF. Red Road West. We're 31 UHF. We know for a fact that a contract's been put out on his life. Now, special effects genius Raleigh Tyler must complete the illusion. The best thing to do is to make them believe that he's dead. You want me to pull the trigger? You are 100% protected, I give you my word. He tried to kill me! Brian Dennehy, Brian Brown, a plan too evil to be real. The shocking suspense thriller, FX. Wednesday at 8, only on 31 UHF. Rip rack attack. Commence eating! Advocacy for the developmentally disabled means helping special people and their families manage life's special problems. 1283 Clifford Avenue. Introducing the new Warm 101.3 FM. Warm plays my kind of music. Billy Joel, Carly Simon, Steve Winwood. Rochester's newest radio station, the new Warm 101.3 FM. Soft rock, less talk. It's not hard rock, but it's not elevator music either. It's soft rock. Rochester's soft rock station is the new warm 101.3 FM. On 101.3, you get a lot of great music without a lot of talk. Try the new warm 101.3 FM. Soft rock, less talk. 
Let you turn things on or off from anywhere in the room. Just plug in the clapper and a television, lamp, stereo, almost anything you want to clap on and off. Clap on, clap off, clap on, clap off, the clapper. The clapper is available at Faze, Ames, Carl's, Woolworth, and James Way. Makes a great gift. You... The newest status symbol in Hollywood is not a new car or a house at the beach. It's a perfect body. And Entertainment Tonight explores the latest West Coast craze. I had my, my breast done, and I love it, and I think everybody should do it. <laughs> but are big breasts worth the big bucks? Above the waist or below, the results of cosmetic surgery can be surprising. Get the inside story, Hollywood Under the Knife, only on the next Entertainment Tonight. Tonight at 10.30, only on 31 UHF. And Carl's and Woolworth. Our family depends on 1180 WHAM for the information we need every morning. I'm late. Any traffic jams? Avoid the can of worms. 1180 WHAM really helps us plan our day. Is it gonna rain? 40% chance. Radar weather, the latest news and sports. Win the game. We did! All, right. All the information we need when we need it. Where's my other shoe? It's under your bed. For information when you need it, you can depend on 1180 WHAM. Limited time. Limited time? A dose of cooler air. The forecast at 11. Dan Rather with election returns in a campaign night two special report from CBS News. Headline of the hour, a good night for Arkansas Governor Bill Clinton and for President George Bush in the presidential primaries. The polls are now closed in all four of tonight's presidential primary states including the contest that has the largest number of delegates in New York. Let's look them over, starting with the Democrats. In New York, uh, Governor Bill Clinton has won the New York primary, and it's a, it's a rather comfortable win for Clinton, although not overwhelming. Brown and Songus are in a very close race for second place in New York. In Kansas, Clinton an easy winner in the Kansas Democratic primary. In Wisconsin, close between Clinton and Brown for first place. We'll have more on that later. Songus third. Among the Republicans, President Bush has scored in Wisconsin, Kansas, Minnesota, and New York, where he was basically unopposed. Now, we'll be back with a special half-hour wrap-up right after your late local news. I'm Dan Rapp. A desperate thief screams his dying confession. It's likely that he told you where the money is. But I didn't hear a thing. Now she's being hunted, and one cop must risk his life to protect her. Get out of the Where's my money? But when he discovers her shocking secret... Be a bad guy for once. See how it feels. And she still trust him with her life. Seems so nice. Nice job. Nice place, but you're so bad. Justine Bateman and Richard Dean Anderson. Jack, no! In the eyes of a stranger. Next, in a world premiere CBS Tuesday movie. Better coffee. Campaign 92. Four primaries, over 400 delegates at stake for Democrats. The outcome and analysis in a CBS News special tonight, following late local news. If you think having little or no income means there's no need to file your taxes, think about this. You may be owed a refund. Find out how to collect on the CBS Evening News tomorrow. Don't forget, the new royal family returns to Wednesday nights on CBS. And don't forget, Davis Rules follows right after. And don't forget, if you're using Nightcrawlers as bait, be sure to wash your hands. You don't know where those guys have been. <laughs> the new royal family, followed by Davis Rules, Wednesday. Wednesdays are going to be something else. <laughs> Scene of the crime tonight on CBS Late Night. It's too hot to sleep. In the eyes of a stranger, will continue. Good evening, I'm Liz Vega. I'm Bob Kirk. Tonight at 11, results of the New York primary. Exit polls conducted by the networks show that a quarter of New York voters said they prefer someone else, specifically Mario Cuomo or Paul Zongas, to Jerry Brown or Bill Clinton. We'll have complete results plus local reaction from the Clinton and Brown campaigns. And Rochester is mourning the death of James McCullough. Mayor Ryan tonight called him an outspoken and effective advocate for the young and poor. Join us at 11. This is CBS. Really delicious, Aloysius. Terrorized by your team. Next, Geraldo. 
In my class, you'll learn the other side of medicine. Some call it bedside manner. There's no chance. I'll be out of here by summer. How involved with a patient should you get? How close is too close? You're not God. Don't pretend to be. Doctors treat the body, not the spirit. Doctors tell the truth. The human factor. It's what sets a good doctor apart from a great one. What they can't find in their books, they'll find in their hearts. The Human Factor. Coming Thursday, April 16th. In the eyes of a stranger, will continue. Nell Carter teams up with William Conrad. Here, hold this. In an extra special, Jake and the Fat Man. Yeah. Oh, show off. Then, he heard voices that made him kill their daughter. He says he's all better. Would you let him go free? 48 hours after Jake and the Fat Man, Wednesday. In order to live, this man must die. Flat line, nothing. He's being frozen in a state of suspended animation. But once this operation is over, can they bring him back? Ed Bradley Street Stories, Thursday. This is CBS. Another small. Remembering a community leader at 11. Patterson and The Prudential. Rock solid. The final confrontation. I'm quitting. Quitting. The final revelation. The season finale of Knott's Landing, Thursday. Sharon Glass and Robert Wagner together. What is this town really all about? In an affair gone wild. I've fallen in love with a, a stranger. Gone reckless. Oh, my God. Gone out of control. What do you want from me? More. Will he change her life forever? I love you, Rosie O'Neill. Rosie's back and she's in love, Saturday. Only in salons. In the eyes of a stranger, will continue. Randy, what a cute place you have. Oh, thanks, Chuck. Hey, too bad we gotta move. You moving? Yeah, I gotta make room for the new royal family. The new royal family? That's us! On Wednesday nights, it's the new royal family, followed by our family, Davis Rules. Hey, we're practically neighbors. Yeah. Can I borrow a cup of sugar? Sounds sweet to me. Wednesday. Gina and Holly must protect a spoiled society girl. I have a feeling you're going to stand out in this crowd. From terrorist party crashers on Dangerous Curves Wednesday. Friday, Tequila goes undercover in Hollywood. And Benetti meets the director, visits the studio, and takes a meeting. Tequila and Benetti. This is CBS. Good evening, I'm Bob Kirk. And I'm Liz Vega. Tonight at 11, we'll tell you whether it's Bill Clinton or Jerry Brown. We'll have the winners and losers of the New York primary. And a man who's been called a courageous activist in the Rochester community has passed on. We'll have his story. Now this. If the other guys can really save you so much money, then why is it that so many people buy their new Hondas from Ontario Honda? Come see us and find out. Join us at 11 for Eyewitness News. Eyewitness News. Brought to you by Ontario Honda. A beautiful marriage of yogurt and crunch. Coming to terms with her painful childhood on the next Maury. Saturday. Something magical is going to happen. Incredible. A worldwide Disney celebration from France with performances by Gloria Stefan, The Temptation, Cher, and Tina Turner. Plus, scenes from the Oscar-winning Beauty and the Beast and more. Join hosts Don Johnson and Melanie Griffith for the grand opening of Euro Disney. The magic begins Saturday. Coming up next, results and reaction on the New York primary. Some exit polls say a lot of voters didn't want either Bill Clinton or Jerry Brown. The man who headed Rochester's action for a better community has passed away. will remember the life of James McCuller. And the shocking death of a 16-year-old at a suburban high school. Join us next. There's a weapon, there's a body, there's a motive. All of which puts you at the scene of the crime. An all-new scene of the crime later on Crime Time After Prime Time. Thanks for making CBS America's most watched network. Now get ready for your local news. He rode into an outlaw land. One man against the evil that other men do. Who did this terrible thing to you, Father? Until his past catches up with him. Do you know me? No, I don't know you. And with it, a terrible vengeance. 
That's right, mister. You don't know me. From the writer of television smash hit Lonesome Dove comes a new kind of Western. Who are you? Told through the eyes of the man who lived it. Med Blessing by Life and Times next Tuesday. Wednesday nights, it's the new royal family and Davis rules back to back. Back to back, cheek to cheek, eyeball to eyeball, <laughs> knee to knee. The new royal family and Davis rules Wednesday. Your cat prefers Calcan. TV is full of dramatic situations with drug pushers, users, and alcoholics. Also filled with laughter, high hopes, and happiness. Let TV influence you positively. Stop the madness. We will return to the CBS Saturday movie, Chase. Coming this fall to CBS. Upon a time begins this fall. Beauty and the Beast. Legwork's the word. Coming this fall. Come on and share it. See you out. CBS. Oh, yes. This is CBS. Coors is the one. WKRP tonight at 11.30 here on TV10. now we will return to Jennifer O'Neill starring in Chase Sunday you're just sweeping up leftover crumbs from my column from a column all right <laughs> Hedda Hopper anyway. Luella Parsons old Hollywood wasn't big enough for the two of them <laughs> how low would they go oh, to top oh. each other Elizabeth Taylor Jane Alexander Malice in Wonderland Sunday. Coming this fall on CBS. This is the Newswatch 10 Sports Break, brought to you by Wendy's. Rochester Red Wings begin an important three-game series at Silver against the Toledo Mud Hens. Those two teams are in a fight for the last playoff spot in the IL. The Hens with a half-game edge. This afternoon, another game got away from the Mets at Wrigley Field. They blow their third lead in a row and lose to the Cubs 7-3. Baseball at the Pan Am Games. And Ty Griffin, second home run with two outs in the bottom of the ninth. Then he pulled the American team past the Cubans in a battle of the unbeaten 6-4. And Scott Burkus went 12-12 for -12 with eight home runs today for Steel Sports. The touring softball team is in town to crush any and all local opposition. Jazz caps from Wendy's, only a dollar ninety nine each with any salad or sandwich purchase. Get yours today. The Bills open the exhibition season in Atlanta tonight. I'm Bill Pucko with sports. CB at Pepsi, the choice of a new generation. Another hot one for Sunday. The forecast at eleven. You better make your reservations early for Frank's Place. Good TV, I guarantee. Woohoo! Coming this fall to CBS. What if your own mother thought you were the worst? She thinks I'm some nickel and dime hoodlum. And to survive, you had to convince the mob you were the best. Kill this fed for me. I trust you for them. Where every day could be your last, especially if they found out you're really an undercover cop. Ken Wall, Ray Sharkey, Wise Guy, this fall on CBS. This Funeral services for a Buffalo Sheriff's deputy. That story tonight. Why is a doctor who admits sexually assaulting a patient still free to practice? Is the problem nationwide? Welcome to the real world of West 57th, next. Tomorrow on CBS Sports, join us for the year's most spectacular sporting epic. The Pan-American Games.
Monday, will college in California... An NBC movie spectacular, Cat Squad. This is a counter-assault squad. Doc Burkholder, he's after more than a killer. But Reigns, he can make any man talk. Nikki Blake, her love could be deadly. John Summers, he's a walking weapon. They are America's only hope to stop the most feared killer on Earth. You better advise me of my rights. We have the right to live, the right to die. Cat Squad, next. Early in 1986, U.S. law enforcement agencies faced the challenge of international crime by forming an elite squad led by veteran special agent Richard Burkholder. Their mission, to strike back at those who threaten the national security. This is the story of that gallant team, the Counter Assault Tactical Squad. Movie of the Week will return following these messages. Relax, we've got plenty of time. License and registration? Uh, we were just trying to get home to watch Miami Vice. Get out of here. That's the best excuse I've heard all day. Body egg. More clouds forecast on night beat. We continue with Cat Squad, starring Joe Cortese, Stephen James, Jack Youngblood, and Patricia Charbonneau. NBC Movie of the Week will return following these messages. Thursday. Problem number one. Uh, problem number two. This isn't your problem. Problem number three. Let's jump in the shower. Molly Dodd after Cheers Thursday. A wife claims her husband became a male prostitute after their baby's crib death on the next session of Divorce Court. Wednesday at 5 on TV 8. Good evening, I'm Virginia Butler. And I'm Mark Rem. Tonight on The Night Beat, a major gathering of experts on brain cell transplants held in Rochester. Taxpayers paying rent for state office building in Rochester. Now this. When you need cash, you could call a wealthy friend or call Columbia. We've got plenty to lend. Visit any Columbia office or call the Rainbow Line. In sports, the Red Wings try to keep the streak going. And Bob Stokes is trying to get rid of this weather streak we've been having. We'll have all the news on Nightbeat. This Nightbeat update was brought to you by Columbia Bank. Get all the high notes in life. Learn to read. Call Literacy Volunteers, 473-7197. Oh, got him! Hey, look at that tarpon jump. There's nothing like it. And there's nothing like Genesee beer. It's always crisp and consistent, because it's brewed in just one place. All natural Genesee. The best catch I know. The great outdoors in a glass, Genesee beer. When you can't make it here for the great taste of Genesee draft, you can enjoy it here, your home. The Genesee Draft No Deposit No Return Cake. Of Jefferson Road. The Mash Hour, weeknights at 7 on TV8. We continue. Alpo. I had it all. Money, success, company limo, condo in Hawaii, women, tailored socks, designer shorts. What happened? They wanted me to work Thursday nights. Thursdays, it's L.A. Law. I told him, Thursday nights, this guy watches L.A. Law. Forget you. You gave up all that? Wouldn't you? L.A. Law, the show you gotta watch. You know, you could have taped it. Are you tired of fireworks?
house? Had enough boring barbecues? Exposed a little too much at the beach? Then spend this weekend at a place where people are dying to get in. Pretty spooky stuff. Norman Bates may be gone, but the motel lives on. This place ain't no motel. It's a burial ground. The Bates Motel, Sunday. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mark Grimm. And I'm Virginia Butler. Tonight at 11, Colonel North makes a brief stop on Capitol Hill, then leaves quickly. The airport man is killed in crash in the town of Egypt. Now this. In our commitment to quality, Chiro Ford built one of the finest automotive facilities in the country. Because not only is it them or us, it's GM or us. A couple more days of clouds. In sports, the Yanks and Blue Jays in another first place battle highlights a night beat. This night beat update was brought to you by Chiro Ford, the dealer that will come to you. Pick up a... It's called news because it's something you didn't already know. In Rochester, there's one television station that consistently brings you the news before any other TV station, newspaper, or radio station. That station is TV8. Day after day, night after night, the people of News 8 bring you more stories first than anyone else in town. I'm Mark Grimm. Don't settle for old news. The new news in town is on WROC TV 8. Take a look at 6 and 11. Good reasons make NBC Nightly News America's most watched evening news. They add perspective to political issues. They help me understand the economy better. They really stay with the story to the finish. The NBC Nightly News with Tom Brokaw. Clearly, America's news. The excitement continues. Friday. Crime Story after Miami Vice. Friday. Tonight, following the local news, join Dick Enberg and NBC Sports for a recap of all the action at Wimbledon today on Wimbledon Update. After that, it's the best of Carson with Johnny's guest Richard Pryor and Dudley Moore. Then watch Late Night with David Letterman and Dave's guest Marv Alpert plus Stupid Human Tricks. It's Late Night Fun into the wee hours. This film contains nudity and may not be suitable for all family members. Viewer discretion is advised. We're 31 UHF. Sunday, September 20th, one of five women will be honored as best actress in a comedy series. Will it be first-time nominee Blair Brown, two-time winner Jane Curtin, one of the Golden Girls, The Arthur, Rue McClanahan, or last year's winner, Betty White. Who will carry home television's highest honor? The 39th Annual Emmy Awards. Only on 31 UHF. We're 31. We'll see. We're 31 UHF. Sunday, September 20th, one of five men will be honored as best actor in a comedy series. Will it be Night Court's Harry Anderson? Ted Danson from Cheers, each nominated for the third time. Previous Emmy winners Michael J. Fox, Bob Newhart, or first-time nominee Bronson Pinchot. Who will carry home television's highest honor? The 39th Annual Emmy Awards. Only on 31 UHF. 2,000 years ago, legends tell us werewolves plagued the Roman Empire. A thousand years ago, there were mass slaughters of suspected werewolves. Only 200 years ago, in France, a legendary wolf-like beast killed more than 60 people. 100 years from now, what will the legends tell of today? Werewolf. And for quality, are right here at Dynamic Auto, at their new and larger location. 450 Empire Boulevard. 31 UHF presents a viewpoint on a topic of public interest. Election day is still a few months away. Already politicians are actively seeking to capture the television viewer and the voters' attention. Paid political announcements and endorsements are flooding the airwaves. 
A recent survey from independent television regarding voter turnout reveals some startling figures. Generally speaking, politicians are not directing their advertising dollars or their messages to young adults ages 18 to 34. Statistics reveal that percentage-wise, 18 to 34-year-old adults do not represent a significant number of registered active voters. In simple terms, they don't get out and vote. This is a very sad commentary. These American citizens do not care enough to get involved in the political system. When you vote, you are determining the direction this country takes into the next decade. You have until October 10th to register to vote at any library or town hall. It's the only way to make your voice heard. Live Sunday, America's leading men will gather on stage for the 39th Annual Emmy Awards. From film and television, Michael J. Fox, Robert Wagner, Bob Newhart, Ted Danson, Alan Thick, Kirk Cameron, Corbin Burnson, John Laroquette, Tom Selleck, Bruce Willis, television's leading men together for one night only, the 39th Annual Emmy Awards. Sunday at 8 on 31 UHF.